Hello and welcome to the Oracle Apex Tutorial 5 Checkboxes Part 2 Video Training Exercise brought to you by MS Consulting. Part 2 focuses on creating a multi value checkbox and adding boxes to each row of the displayed data. On the screen is the list of assumptions and requirements for this tutorial, as well as the location of a full article with in depth information, as well as all code snippets and text that needs to be pasted in. And we're going to pick up right where we left off with Part 1. So we're going to scroll down to our items and select our P1 report search. We're going to be changing this into a multi checkbox entry. So we're going to change its display as to checkboxes, which is all the way up at the top of the select list. And once that's all set, we're going to come down. We're going to change the label from search. And we're going to change it to say product status. and then we're going to scroll down some and we're going to change its source we're going to paste a new source value in here these are its starting values and we're going to scroll down some to list of values and we're going to make sure that it has four columns and then we're going to paste in the list of values definition And then once that's all set, I'm going to scroll back up and we're going to click Apply Changes. Now we're going to edit the region a little bit. So we're going to go over to our regions and we're going to click the Product Report. and we're going to scroll down here to the source and what we have to do is we have to change the WHERE clause so what we're going to do is we're going to get the entire WHERE clause in the window here and then we're going to highlight and delete the existing clause and we're going to replace it with a new one I'll scroll back up and we're going to say apply changes now we have to add a computation the computation is to address a small hole in the logic loop for how this is going to work and the location is going to be item on this page and the compute item is going to be the P1 report search and the computation type is going to be static assignment. The actual explanation for this computation is in the full article. If you click next and then we're going to type in the computation. We'll click next. And we're going to select our condition type, which is going to be value of item in expression one is null and the expression one is going to be the P1 report search I'm going to click create then once that's all set we're going to run our page so we can see what's going on as you can see product status is now a series of four checkboxes across the top of the report and now we're going to scroll down we're going to go to our edit page one again and we're going to come down here to items and click our report search and we're going to come down here to element and we're going to change the form element options to say class equals quotation field data bold end quotation this will make this element uh, show up in bold text. I'm going to apply changes to that. And 
Then we're going to go back to Regions and say Product Report. And now we need to add a line to the source. So we're going to put our cursor after Product ID and hit Enter and then paste in the new line, the actual explanation of the basics of this line is in the full article. Now we're going to go to Report Attributes. And we're going to scroll down and you'll see this new entry that's here that says DEL. This is what editing the, the source puts in. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the up arrow on the far right hand side and we're going to manually move this selection up until it is directly under the line that says product ID. What we're doing is we're using a in Apex call to create a delete checkbox for each item that will be displayed in the report. Click apply changes for that. And we come down here we have to create a button. I'm going to create a new button here and it's going to be in the product report region. Click next and we're going to create a button in a region position and click next and we're going to give the button a name. This is its internal name so I'm going to put it in in all caps say delete product. Then when we highlight the label it'll automatically fill in what we need in this case which is delete products. Everything else on this page is okay. We'll click next and everything on this page is okay. We'll click next. Here's the display properties. The position is going to be at the top of the region and everything else is okay. We'll click next. Branching is going to be product report. In other words, it's going to branch right back to the page it came from. and we'll click create button. Okay. Now what we need to do is under page processing, under processes, we have to actually create the process that will link to that button properly. So we'll click our create button and it's going to be a PLSQL process. So we'll click next. Process attributes the name, we're going to call it Delete Products. And then it sequences OK and everything else is OK. So we'll click Next. And here we'll paste in our process. Once we get that in, we'll click Next. And then we'll add a success and a failure message. And we'll create the process. And the process is created. Now we'll click Run. And as you can see, there's now a new column that says DEL that puts a checklist into every single, or a checkbox into every single row of data that allows us to delete them. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we look forward to seeing you next time.